Hey guys, Namaste. This is Nandish from Aja Physics, and in this video, we are looking at the relation between this energy and trajectory of a particle or an object in central force field. Yes, if a particle or an object, when it is moving in a central force field, its kinetic energy and its relation with the potential energy will decide the shape of the path in which it is moving. So, we will try to understand, first of all, we have to understand what is central force, okay. So, here we have a central force. If I take any two particles or the object in space, the force of attraction or repulsion or in generally the interaction between them is happening exclusively or only along the line joining the two particles or the two objects. And not only that, the magnitude of the force is purely depends on r, where r is the distance between the two particles or the object. If any force is satisfying this condition, then it is said to be the central force. Example for the central forces are very simple. The one is gravitation force and the second one is electrostatic force. So, these two are the well known example for the central forces. If I take these two or the any two objects having the masses m1 and m2, the gravitation force can be written as some constant g m1 m2 divided by this r square. So, here the gravitational force is acting only along the line joining the two objects of masses m1 and m2. And for a given pair of mass, the gravitational force is purely depends on uh, the distance, okay. It is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. That is why it is a central force. Similarly, this electrostatic force also that is given by some constant. Constant is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 divided by r square. So, here also for a given, if, if I consider these two are the a pair of charges of magnitude q1 and q2. Uh, for a given pair of charges, the force is the inversely proportional to the square of the distance and the force is acting only along the line joining the two charges and that is why these two are called as central forces. And what is central force field? Central force field is also very simple. It is, the field means it is a region of space where there exists a central force, okay. That is called as central force field, that is it. Now, here in the central force field, if suppose uh, this particle is exerting force on the other charged particle, say for example, there is an electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion between them, these two charged particles. If this is exerting force on the other charged particle and this charged particle is in motion, then this is said to be the source of the central force field and this is called the test particle which is moving in the central force field. Similarly, if these two are the masses, okay, m1 and m2, and if this is moving under the force of the other, then uh, this is said to be the source of the central force field, and this is called the test object or the test. There are non central forces also, for example magnetic force on a moving charged particle, nuclear force are not. Now assume that there is a central force field. I mean we can consider a heavy mass, okay, assume that this is the heavy mass if the central force field is a gravitational field and if I consider electrostatic field as a central force field, this is going to be highly charged particle. That is it. So, around which you can imagine the field and this field is a central force field. So, anywhere you go around it, there is a central force field. And now, assume that there is another particle over here. This can be a lighter mass or lighter charged particle. Assume that mass of this particle is going to be m. Now, consider this is already in motion, okay. When it is in motion, this will be having some kinetic energy. 
so that kinetic energy is given by half m v square m is mass of this particle and v is the speed of the particle now with this kinetic energy if it enters into the central field of some source of some unknown force of some unknown source now what is going to happen so for that we need to understand what is potential energy now let us uh, see what is potential energy is if suppose i want to place an object over here there is a distance uh, from the source of the field to this point let me call that distance as r so if ever i want to place an object at this point we need to spend some amount of energy because you know that anywhere in the central force field the another external particle is going to experience a central force and to overcome that central force and i want to keep an object over here at this distance r we have to spend some amount of energy that means we are doing some work against the central force this work done is stored as the potential energy okay so this kinetic energy of the incoming particle into the central force field and the potential energy of the same particle inside the central force field will decide what is the path will be taken by this particle so let us see how this kinetic energy of the incoming particle and the potential energy of the same particle inside the central force field will decide the shape of the path which is followed by the same thing now assume that uh, kinetic energy is less than uh, potential energy so i am taking this u uh, the letter u for potential energy so particle will take a closed path inside the central force field usually there are uh, two closed paths are there one is circular path and the other is elliptical path okay so let me go with this circular path first and then we will discuss the elliptical path later so if suppose kinetic energy is just half of the potential energy here you can see that this kinetic energy is less than the potential energy i am telling you that kinetic energy is just half of the half of the potential energy in such a case the incoming particle will surely follow the circular path and at the center of the circular path you can expect the source of the central force field if suppose this is the source of the central force field and the incoming particle will have kinetic energy half of the potential energy then it will follow the circular path okay so this is going to be the source of the central force field now similarly for elliptical path kinetic energy is less than potential energy and potential energy is still less than two times the kinetic energy if the incoming particle into the central force field will follow this condition then it will surely follow the elliptical path now uh, the example for this uh, circular path and elliptical paths are very simple the motion of planets around the sun in elliptical orbit because the kinetic energy of the planets is less than the potential energy of the central force field of the sun okay similarly you can uh, see the circular orbits cases say for example motion of the moon around the earth is almost a circle one now in these two cases where the kinetic energy is less than the potential energy the incoming particle will restrict its motion inside the central force field itself because its kinetic energy is less than the potential energy and this is not sufficient enough to escape out of this source okay so therefore its motion will be restricted around the source of the central force field itself now let me see what is if kinetic energy is at least equal to the potential energy in such a case particle will follow uh, what you call a parabolic path okay so you know parabolic path it is a open path it is not a closed path when kinetic energy 
at least equal to the potential energy then it is going to be a para parabolic path i mean if kinetic energy is not less than potential energy and at that condition the path will starts opening similarly if kinetic energy is greater than the potential energy the path of the particle inside of the central force field will be hyperbola hyperbolic path similarly if suppose if kinetic energy is very much greater than the potential energy then this incoming particle will not bother about any forces okay it will never look into that uh, source of the central force field but it will simply go in the direction as it is coming so therefore path of the incoming particle even inside the central force field if kinetic energy is very much greater than potential energy is going to be a straight line okay so these are uh, the different path of the particles incoming particle inside the central force field and how these paths are going to uh, occur depending upon the kinetic energy and potential energy of the particle so and that is why we can say that the energy decide the trajectory of a particle inside a central force field so i hope you like this video and thank you for watching